the money reside, where the money reside, where the money reside. Guys, that is my mood all year long, period. If you guys know, you know this is my favorite meme right now, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and join the family. I would love to have you here. Today is my birthday, guys. I am turning 26. I can't believe it. I am in my later 20s. I am on my grown woman status, okay? So I just wanted to sit down with you guys and get really cute. I feel really inspired today to create a beautiful makeup look. So I thought, you know what? Let me film this because the creative juices are flowing. And normally when that happens, I create a look that you guys tend to really love on Instagram. Instagram and then I'm like shoot I wish I recorded it so that is what we're doing today I don't know if I'm gonna be getting this video up literally on my birthday because it's already two o'clock right now <laughs> Scary so I'm gonna try to get it up today, but if not it will go up tomorrow So it'll be a belated situation, but still fun But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get straight into eyeshadow So for eyeshadow today, I'm gonna go in with this palette by Too Faced. This is their gingerbread eyeshadow palette I just love the tones in this palette. It's just perfect for every day perfect for some extraness too But I kind of want to play on the brighter colors that are in this palette today like this orange the pink and some of the purple I'm gonna start off with the shade spice and nice right in the inner corner because I want to create like a gradient effect of colors in my transition color I've done this before and I loved how it turned out so I just want to do it with different shades this time so I'm gonna go in with this shade so that's what spice and nice looks like this orange right over here and then I'm just gonna start working that in to the inner corner And as you can see, I'm just really building up that color payoff. This look is going to be the definition of bright.com, that colorful, that what the hell, where we going to wear this type of look. But it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna roll with it, okay? Honestly, I just want to create something fun and creative. Blending eyeshadow is like my little therapeutic moment. It's my self-care. And now that I've entered this new age, I feel like it's a fresh start, you know, fresh chapter for me to really tap back into it's just some really good positive energy. I'm just gonna get cute and probably run some errands with my mom after this. Probably get some Starbucks. <laughs> And that's gonna be my birthday to be honest and also you got to factor in miss rona is you know all up in the mix And we are back in official lockdown to starting tomorrow here in ontario So it's not like I can go and see my friends or anything like that. Everybody's trying to be safe Everybody's trying to be smart So i'm probably just gonna go out with my mom go for a drive run some errands get some fresh air Maybe go for a walk if it's not too cold because ain't nobody got time for that And then maybe get some starbucks and come back home and like watch a movie or something, you know Or actually edit this video and try to get it up and then maybe watch a movie and that's it you know i wasn't planning to upload a video today or like film on my actual birthday i was like oh let me just chill let me just relax and enjoy my day but filming and creating content is honestly like my enjoyment so i thought why not just pop in with you guys oh how dare she go into the next color and not tell you guys what i'm using um <laughs> I'm going in with the shade gumdrop this bright pink right there is just speaking to me Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing I did with that orange shade and just pack it in and like blend the two colors into each other Yeah, that is pretty Okay, this might be looking kind of crazy right now, but I'm living for this until you guys see the end product It's gonna look fire But now i'm gonna go in with this purple shade now in the outer corner right over here And i'm just gonna go ahead and like tap it in like that first and then like work its way up like that Just blend it into the pink And next, I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow base primer. This is my Sigma Beauty eyeshadow base primer in the shade Persuade. This is my go-to primer, guys, because it just really helps bring your shimmer shades to life. And it also just helps you really cut the crease really nicely. I just love everything about it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do a half cut crease just to make the shimmer shades very crisp and defined compared to the transition colors, if that makes sense. And now for the inner corner shade, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this shade right over here. It's kind of like a creamish shimmer and it's called Spiked Eggnog. So I'm just gonna go ahead and only pack that right in the inner corner because I'm gonna try to at least fit two shimmers on the lid before I blend in that purple in the outer corner. 
Okay, see, I love how that looks because I kind of feel like it made the cut crease that we made very defined and very sharp. Like you can really, really see it. So I love how that looks right now. And I'm kind of debating on what shade next to put on the lid before I put in that transition color. You know what? I might just go in with this shimmery pink right here because you guys know I love pink. So I might as well just go with that. It's called Hot Toddy. And now that we have the pink on, I'm just going in with the first brush that we had and just blending the two so it's not as harsh in between. Because first I was just focusing on getting that pigment in on the lid. And I'm just going to do the same on the other eye. I'm not too worried about the fallout right now, guys, because I'm going to go ahead and clean that up right after. Ooh, this look is really starting to come together, guys. Oh my God, I'm so happy right now. So now I'm going back in with this purple shade right over here that we used on this outer corner. And I'm gonna start to just blend that into our pink shimmer. So everything is just nice and seamless all the way out, if that makes sense. All right, guys, and that is what the eyes are looking like right now. Of course, we're gonna, you know, clean it up a little more and sharpen out the corners once we put on our concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and take a five minute break because I gotta go pray acid and I'll be right back and we'll get into our base. All right, guys, so I'm back and now we're gonna get into primer. I already went ahead and just applied some oil to my face. This is by Pharmacy and this is their Honey Girl Ultra Hydrating Face Oil. I used to love using this as a primer when winter would come and my skin would get very dry. So I felt like I needed to tap back into this today. And then to just smooth out the areas where I have some texture, I'm gonna take this Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I love using them together because I feel like it really works better once you go in with an oil first to prep your skin. That's just my experience. It's what's worked better for my face. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right around my mouth area. Right here next to my nose is where I have a lot of texture. Forehead, smooth that out a bit. Okay, pretty much everywhere at this point. <laughs> from what it looks like. I'm like, I'm acting like I'm doing this in targeted areas, but then I'm just gonna pat it in. And I just feel like that just gives me a more smoother canvas for my base. Love that for me. <laughs> First, I'm gonna go ahead and color correct. This is the MAC Prep and Prime color corrector that I love to use in the shade Peach Luster. And then I'm just taking my uh, ColourPop sponge just to blend that out. And for foundation, I'm gonna be taking this one by YSL. This is their Touche Clot Le Tint Foundation. I'm in the shade BD65. You know what? I'm just gonna use my finger so I don't go too heavy handed with the foundation today. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out with the same ColourPop sponge. Are any of you guys watching Real Housewives of Potomac right now? Because I watched part two of the reunion last night. If you guys are watching, please let me know you guys' thoughts. Are you team Candace or are you team Monique? Because at this point, Candace is just trying my existence. Personally, my perspective is two grown women should not be fighting in the first place. So maybe it's the Somali in me, but if I got beat up on national television, okay? I'm not crying all season long on TV because like literally, I would get a shoe to the head from my mom. <laughs> My mom would be like, I know damn well you did not, one, get beat up and then are crying every day about it. Like, I don't know, that could be because Somalis are just more savage and blunt like that. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys grew up with the whole, if someone starts something, you end it mentality when you were growing up in school. So like, I just wouldn't like embarrass myself and continue to cry all season long. And oh my gosh, I died guys on one episode where she had like the post-it notes everywhere to remind herself, like self-care notes because she's that traumatized. I'm like, are you serious? And then also I was getting annoyed with Andy because I kind of felt like he was, you know, on the bandwagon of dragging Monique for no reason. But anyways, I'm living for Monique and her binder. You can see I'm clearly not Team Candace. Honestly, I find her just kind of annoying at this point because she does a lot of talking, but she can't back it up. And that's the worst type of person because I'm going to go in with concealer now. I'm going to take this one by Rare Beauty in the shade 400W first. My mom always used to tell me the worst type of person is someone who talks a lot of nonsense, but then can't back it up. She always used to tell me that like, if you just talk too much, someone in life will humble you. Someone in life will humble you. And I kind of felt like <laughs> Monique was that person. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix a little bit of my Too Faced a Butterscotch Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer, just like right in the 
inner corner for more coverage. So just don't do it to yourself. Don't be that person who eggs people on. I'm sorry if this is annoying for those of you guys who don't watch the show, but y'all need to get on it, okay? But I kind of felt like throughout the whole reunion, she was butting in when people weren't talking to her. And I'm talking about Candace. Like she was butting in. If it's a Giselle issue, let her speak up for herself. Like she is a grown woman. Monique was holding her composure. She was so chill. She was very classy with the whole situation. She was just like, okay, you know what? I'm not gonna let her bait me. She could see that they were trying to bait her 100%. So I cannot wait to see what part three is. I think it's a 90 minute episode and I'm like so ready guys. You don't even understand. If there's enough of you guys who watch it here, I'm gonna go on Instagram stories and I'm gonna like have my commentary as I watch. We can discuss guys, we can discuss. This season has me dying. Like at first you guys were all telling me it's slow, it's slow, but then you gotta like work your way up to it. And now I'm kind of like, ooh, this is actually so good. I was trying to do this whole nose contour highlight thing that I've seen on Instagram. And now I kind of feel like it's a fail because I feel like my whole nose is concealer at this point. <laughs> So now I'm just bronzing up my skin and I'm taking the bronzing powder by Bobbi Brown in the shade Deep. But yeah, guys, that is just my little take on Real Housewives of Potomac. If you guys are stands, Real Housewives of Potomac stands, let me know in the comments because Real Housewives of Atlanta is just very dead for me right now. I'm not gonna lie. Other than like Portia's storyline, which I feel like is just so amazing because she's bringing light to the whole Black Lives Matter movement. I think that's just such a great way to use your platform to televise that on TV. Now that we're all bronzed up, I'm gonna go in with some highlight and I'm gonna be taking this highlight by Bobbi Brown as well. It's kind of dirty guys, but this is what it looks like. It's such a beautiful highlighter. And this is in the shade Bronze Glow. I love this shade. Yeah, let me know in the comments, what are you guys watching right now? Or how are you guys, you know, passing by time with the second lockdown? Or if you guys are in lockdown again right now, wherever you're based, let me know in the comments. And now we're going on to blush. This is by Cover Effects and this is their monochromatic blush duo in the shade Spiced Cinnamon. I feel like this will go with the vibe of today's makeup look perfectly. Ooh, oh snap, I messed up. <laughs> oh my God, that was a fail. Okay, I think I recovered though. Ooh, that would have been really bad, but I'm gonna blend that out with a clean brush after. And now I'm gonna move on to some mascara. And this is my favorite mascara at the moment. It's by Maybelline and this is their Lash Sensational Mascara. To me, this mascara honestly tops higher end mascaras. It's so good. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just apply my lashes and I'll be right back. All right guys, so lashes are on and I'm wearing the style Feeling Myself by Velour. And then also what I did was I took this Huda Beauty Life Liner and then applied that like underneath my lash just so that it blends in better. And now I'm going in with with this eyeliner by Charlotte Tilbury. I already went in with it on this eye just cause I wanted to see what the color looked like before I did it on camera and now I actually like it. So this is their Walk of No Shame eyeliner. And then on my bottom lash, I'm gonna take this mascara by Charlotte Tilbury as well. This is their Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes in the shade Super Black. Wow, I needed my glasses to read that. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so now it's time to finish off this look with our lip product and I'm gonna be mixing two today You guys know I love a glossy moment So I'm gonna be taking this wet and wild lipstick and this is in the shade mocha licious. Wow, that's such a cute name Okay, so I'm gonna take that and then on top I'm gonna go in with this gloss by Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade refresh rose And yeah, guys, that's the lip combo. I'm really loving how that looks because it's more of a simple, chill lip because the eyes are doing all the talking, okay? The eyes are the most dramatic part of this look. I'm gonna go ahead and change my hijab and my outfit and I'll be right back. And yeah, guys, this is the hijab I went for. I love this hijab. But yeah, this is the final look, guys. I'm feeling cute. I feel like I might just go for a drive with this look. Like, I don't care. I know it's dramatic and people in, like, in my building will probably be like, what is you doing? But I'm gonna just mind your business. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? It's a lockdown sis. I am going to the drive through I don't even know if Starbucks is open at this time. But anyways, I love how this look turned out Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, this video is definitely not gonna go up today because I'm gonna go ahead and spend time with my family So you guys will see this tomorrow on Christmas Eve Thank you so much for supporting me as hard as you guys do and inshallah This is a new chapter new age new growth and more blessings to come inshallah And I cannot wait to share more with you guys and just create 
create more fun vibes here on my channel. So make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Come say hi in the comments. You guys know I love responding to you guys. And make sure you subscribe to join the family. I would love to have you here. We're on the road to 20K and I'm trying to hit that soon, inshallah. And like always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.